Hey guys, I'm at it again, and I got a plan. Hmm. I'm thinking about some pho. That's right, I said pho. Capital P H O. It's a, a really delicious dish. I've already started it, but I thought I'd go ahead and tell you about some of the ingredients that you're going to need. Um, first of all, okay, preferably a beef broth, uh, Swanson I like, but if you can't find that, vegetable or chicken will work, but preferably you want to do the beef broth. You also need some, uh, onions or shallots, whichever one you can find, ginger, okay, you're also going to use some, um, cloves, we're going to use a couple of bay leaves, we're going to use, uh, some anastar, some uh, coriander, and some cinnamon stick. And um, I have everything in these little cute bags. I like them. <laughs> but anyway, that's what all this is about. And you're going to need uh, some cane sugar or some rock sugar, if you can find that. But this whole little combination with one extra secret ingredient that's going to bring it all home is going to make this pho so delicious. It'll blow your mind. You need beef bone. That beef bone, you're going to take it and you're going to put it in the oven about 400 degrees for about 30, 40 minutes. And you're just going to let it brown. Okay? You're going to take it and let it brown. And you're going to also take these garlic onions. Hey, you're going to take these onions and do the same thing. Let it brown because what's going to happen after they brown and cut, they can dissolve much quicker. And then you're going to take it over and put it in all of this in a crock pot with some more water. Fill it up. Let it cook. All day and all night. If you need some more broth, add some more broth. But when it's all said and done and you can combine all of this goodness together, all of this goodness together, now you have the pleasure of using some noodles. <laughs> yes. Angel hair, rice stick noodles, flour noodles, whatever kind you like, okay, to your pleasing. You also have to add hmm, fish oil. And I'm going to go get it. Hold on a second. I think it's fish oil, fish stock, something. Anyway, hold on a second. Okay, so basically what I'm doing now, we're gonna make some pho. I uh, have one batch already put together, but we didn't use it up, so we're gonna enhance this. So we're gonna add the uh, beef stock, okay? Uh, we're gonna add some fresh ginger that's been sliced. I already put um, the scallop onions, okay? That's what that is. <laughs> put some of that in. And uh, we're gonna put in some uh, star anise. Or Anastar, these little things here, right here, right here. We're gonna put just um, we're gonna put three in because again, we just um, add into the stock. When I did the first batch, I think I did about put eight in. Okay. Again, I've already added cinnamon stick. Okay. Um, we're gonna add a couple more bay leaves. Okay. And again, I just love these little bags. They're just so cute. Look like little mason jars with their plastic. And I'm just going to add one bay leaf. Okay. We don't need a whole lot. And, um. Then I'm going to add, um. How you say it? Um. Coriander. Okay. I'm just going to add just a little. And then there's one other spice that they want you to use, but. I don't have any of that. So, I'm just not going to worry about it, you know? And I'm going to turn it on high also. I don't want it to really cook up. And then we're going to add a couple of more of these cloves, whole cloves. And if you're in a store and they have the ground one or whatever, I mean, if that's all you got, that's all you have. <laughs> and that's what you'll use. But, preferably, you'll use the whole cloves. Because like I have in here, I have uh, the uh, ground cloves, okay? There's some recipes. You need that in it. In some recipes, you really need the uh, whole clothes. So, I'm going to go for just a couple of them. And, um, uh, I'll call it a day. Oh, one last thing we need to put in here before I forget. You got to have, um, uh, the brown sugar. Okay. And I like to put everything back in here and put the little name of it. Because some of these seeds may start looking all the same, especially when I transfer them, put them in, you know, these little mason jars. <laughs> they plastic though, but I love them. They're so easy to help you organize yourself in the kitchen, especially if you buy stuff and then you have little the packets or whatever, or you have maybe taco seasoning or spaghetti seasoning left over. 
you can just um, you know, put it in there and then we're just gonna add a little brown sugar. That's it. Just a little brown sugar. Now normally I put that um it's like cane sugar, but uh for some reason I lost my mind today and forgot where I put it. <laughs> so after you put everything in here, we're just gonna mix it and then we're gonna close this crock pot. Well, I can make a mess up in here anyway. <laughs> we're gonna close the crock pot and make miracles. Be right back. <laughs> 